Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Chronic Jumping. It's been a while, so let's not fuck about. Play the intro. And today's jumping puzzle is the Wall Breach Blitz. It's located in the Disney Plateau. It's one out of three jumping puzzles in the area, and I'm gonna cover the other two in individual videos. So keep a lookout for them. They're gonna come in the next few days. To get to the jumping puzzle entrance, you wanna go to the breached wall waypoint, and that's exactly where we are gonna start. The jumping puzzle isn't really difficult uh, or hard in terms of the jumps but it might be kind of tricky to find the entrance or if you find it by accident then it might be hard to identify as a jumping puzzle because it's one of the few jumping puzzles that take place in the great outdoors. Most of them as you might have already noticed take place in dungeons or caverns or something like that. The other tricky part is that there are monsters all over the place which will attack you and therefore slow you down. If you have a speed buff, as I have right now, I'm going to switch it out in a second when I notice it. Um, if you have a speed buff, then you still can make all of the jumps, even if you're in combat. Without a speed buff, you might want to take the time to kill the enemies so that you're not slowed, otherwise you won't make some of the jumps. At this point, you'll see this little ladder here. A previous adventurer who we'll, well, let's say meet at the end of the jumping puzzle, was kind enough to leave them behind. These include some nice tips to get around the jumping puzzle if you get lost, don't find the way, or something like that, which you won't need um, if you're watching the video, so we'll just skip those for the time being. This right here is one of the examples where you can't make the jump if you're in combat and you got hit and you don't have a speed buff. So you might want to take the time and kill the enemies if you got hit. But I'm going to try and avoid the hits altogether, which I managed up until now, but I'm going to get out of it, so no worries there. Across the arches here and to the left of the stairs is another ladder. In a second, we're going to see me fail. Of course, completely intentional. But this gives me the opportunity to, well, tell you that some ArenaNet developers still have a heart. One developer kind of took pity on the players and built in some safety nets at one place or another. So in this jumping puzzle, if you fall down, don't get discouraged. Take a second, look around. There might be a way back up on the right track. And once we manage to get back on the right track, we get to the next tricky bit. You have to walk around the back of the stairs to get back up. This took me quite a while the first time around, but if you know it, it's basically no problem. One little jump and we're already at the end. No treasure chest at this point, but we get a veteran mob which we can kill, which shouldn't be a problem. Even if you're by yourself, it just takes quite a while, so I'm going to speed it up here. And once you have killed the veteran, we also get a vista and a skill point pretty much instead of a treasure chest. You can also see why I said we kind of meet the previous adventurer, because, well, he's dead. If you get the vista, take the time to jump from platform to platform, because otherwise you're going to die if you jump right from the vista to the ground. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. My name has been Chronic Gamer. I'll see you next time.